I recently bought my daughter a computer for her birthday, a used family computer for her and I. I don't really think it matters that it's used, but I just wanted to put that in. I wasn't fond of purchasing computers from the store because of the price, but eventually I found this computer that fit my budget. It was a cheap old utility Windows 7 computer that was pretty decent, but I had to purchase the rest of the parts. The seller that I had bought it from had told me the computer was recovered from a house fire after an accident in his home, losing all of his belongings that he had and only being able to salvage a few things from his house, that being his computer tower that his son used and this old webcam. Anyway, this made me a bit skeptical that it would work, but the owner proved that it actually did. So, I went and purchased it. I asked him about his son, and he told me that his son died during the accident. He also told me his data might still be on the computer, meaning, I would have to format the computer myself. And me not being very tech savvy, and pretty old, I did not know how. I told the owner that I was sorry about his loss, thanked him, and went home. I tried resetting the computer, but I couldn't. I looked on YouTube and I follow instructions, but I guess it didn't have a reset feature built in. There weren't that many programs installed anyways. So I just uninstalled some things I felt like I didn't need. My daughter told me she loves to play Roblox, so I decided to download it on the computer for her. I found out that it was already installed. So my daughter started playing, and I carry on with my business. I couldn't stop thinking about the owner's kid. I knew it was pretty insignificant to me, but it was still a kid. Poor guy. Anyways, it was around 11pm. I was in bed trying to doze off, but then I heard my daughter call my name. I went to check on her and I saw her eyes were completely fixed on the screen. She told me that her avatar was a girl with purple hair. Maybe you're on the wrong account, I said. Her character was black. She somehow switched accounts while playing somehow. But did she? Maybe it was the owner's kid that didn't log out of the Roblox account before giving it to us. I brushed it off. It was very late at night, so I made her log off until the next day. I woke up early that morning, and I went to check the profile myself. The account was called CanSeco999. It was weird. I'm guessing that's the kid's account. But why would he name himself that? I took a screenshot of the account before logging off again. My daughter got on the computer a little while later. She told me she got on the Roblox website and automatically joined the game. The game was made by CanSeco999, the same account she logged out last night. Help was the name of the game. I was wondering why would someone make a game called Help? After this, when it loaded up, all you could see was black, and you could hear hellish noises. My daughter clicked on the exit button many times until the monitor froze up. It didn't really scare me, but my daughter was scared. She let out a screen which scared the living hell out of me, and I panicked and disconnected the computer. A few days have passed, and we were fine. She told me that she saw something else on the game. I asked her to tell me what she saw, but she started crying every time I asked. I contacted Roblox support, but they have not been responding to my emails. I've been brushing it off as a virus or something wrong with the client. I contacted the owner, but he hasn't responded. I wasn't able to talk to my daughter all day because she was so scared. After that, I didn't let my daughter play Roblox anymore. If you want to play this game yourself, search him up. I couldn't refund the computer because he wasn't responding to me, so I just kept it in my garage. I honestly don't know what to do with this piece of garbage. I've been starting to hear weird noises at night, like crying. It's not my daughter either. I've also been feeling some kind of presence. It's now been getting louder and louder. I've also been experiencing power loss, even though the whole neighborhood is still lit up except mines. Maybe somebody is stalking me. I'm pretty sure one day it will cease, but I've been dreaming about the figure and it's been keeping me up. I've been shaking the noises off as something else, but today the sounds were different. The laughing became significantly deeper. After two goddamn months of this strange happening, 
I finally had the boss to turn on the computer. It booted like normally, except something weird was changed that I noticed. I went on the Roblox page and went to this sort of site. The webcam on the computer lit up and I noticed it instantly. The computer turned off and stopped booting up, so I disconnected it and threw it in the garbage. It's been a month now. The laughing got worse. They also taken my daughter to a foster care, but I didn't do anything. I forgot to tell you guys, I did some research. I had just found out the child was killed in the fire. Wasn't killed in a fire. He was murdered by his own father. And I guess he sold all of his belongings. One was his PC. After I found out about this, I got an email from the seller. Someone is outside of my door, 